Trump got the RNC bump, as you said, but does this shake up, this last minute shake up less than a month from the DNC? Does that give Kamala Harris and Democrats a bump? Did this move energize the base? Because yesterday, Kamala Harris did see record breaking fundraising numbers. Yeah, I think that where uh, the change matters is in terms of energizing the Democratic base and getting out the vote. And that's what you're seeing with the close to $50 million raised within less than 24 hours after uh, uh, the announcement. Does it make a difference for independent voters, for uh, undecided voters, for the state of the horse race? That's something that we're going to look at closely over the course of this week. What we know so far is that uh, Vice President Harris's numbers have tracked those of President Biden for months now. And she has performed similarly, if not slightly worse, than President uh, uh, Biden has. Both of their approvals are underwater, deeply underwater at 38%. It's exactly the same. However, uh, Kamala does have higher approval amongst young Democrats, 18 to 34 year old, 62% compared to Biden's 55%, and then slightly better approval amongst uh, Hispanic Democrats, 68% to uh, uh, 62%. She also seems to uh, win undecided by a better margin than Biden, and we see good traction for her amongst undecided independents, 59% to 41% uh, against Trump. So she wins undecided independents when you ask them which way are, will you break or lean. And very importantly, uh, suburban women, which as I mentioned are a key battleground and a historically democratic uh, uh, voter group. So amongst the undecided, she does better, but again, she starts at a disadvantage uh, compared to Trump and um, uh, uh, her numbers are similar to Biden. So it might be a little bit of a case of too similar and too late, that she's too similar to President Biden or is seen as owning many of the same issue positions as he, uh, as he has. She only has about three months worth of runway, uh, which is not a lot of time uh, to build her up. There's a question mark in terms of the momentum that she will get uh, with the Democratic base. And our polling indicates clearly that uh, her selection alleviates concerns uh, amongst the Democratic base and that the, the level of concern uh, among uh, for their candidate drops from the mid 30s to roughly the mid 20s with, uh, between Biden and Kamala. But uh, we will see how this poll, uh, polling matures and stabilizes over the next uh, few days and see whether or not Kamala can get real traction compared to Trump, or as I said, you know, is it a case of too similar too late?